Hello, this is your friend Jim. Welcome, Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. Uh, today, we got a little simple project. We're going to do a little simple aluminum turning, making a breather knob. A little different from the ones that you normally see me make for the race cars. This is going on a vintage Mustang, and man said he wanted me to make him something look pretty. So, I did. It's a simple little lathe job, no big, amazing stuff. So, with that being said, I hope you gather the kiddies, the children, the friends, everybody around. And let's see how, see how old man docks something simple out today. Okay, I'll come back and tell you by then. Okay, good morning, or good afternoon, actually. Uh, we have a little, we got a hay man job. My neighbor across the street is in the old car. He's also the grandfather of a race car driver, stepdad to my other friend, and he is needing a decorative nut to go on his breather system. The one he has just ain't going to work for him. So he said, why don't you make me one out of a little bit? I said, it's no problem. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of rough us out a little piece of aluminum here. I'm going to actually just want to go ahead and face it first and then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to hit the OD real lightly here just a little piece to just enough to clean it up. We're going to knurl it and then we'll start machining it off. This is just, for, this is just to get us a slick clean finish. And we'll figure out how long it's got to be and all that here in a minute. give us completely true and round what we want to be. No, gotta take a little more. This is this doesn't have to be a dimension. It's just a I just want to slick round surface. And this is just gonna have a neural attached to the top of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and I'll have to figure out where I want this. Um, so we're going to add to this here piece, this piece is, uh, 9 sixteenths long. Let me do a little math, I'll get back to you. Right. Now we've got it sort of figured out. i got an area here I'm going to knurl. I'm going to run the knurl to about 200 RPM. kind of go back and forth right in here. Some of this will be machined off, but this is kind of going to be my area. And make my knurl. In case you're wondering, we're just going to... I'm just knurling the area that we're going to machine off. So this is kind of what we're going to do here. How we look. Just a little bit about one more to the front. Again, this is cutting oil, this is kerosene, that's be for you, anything like that. I prefer to do most of my knurling. Oil feeds on a little bit just because of dog. Uh, I think that's going to make us a little. Again, I'm going more for how I want it to look as a neural as far instead of it being a precise neural like a calculated by the proper calculations, all that. I'm going to put the pattern on it, so there we go. I put the center in off camera, and we're going to run in here and we're going to drill a Five, uh, we're going to thread it 5 16 18 for, for the larger coarse thread stud. So let me cut this off, put it in slow speed. We'll power tap it right quick. Let me go grab the tap. I already tapped this hole, but unfortunately, this wasn't deep enough. So we're going to run back in there. 
run it just a little deeper to make sure that we're going to clear. There we go. That's got us right, right good. I just went ahead and I've done it and I realized we wanted to go through. So we want the stud to clear through on this so that he can always cut the shaft to what he needs. Alright, let me set up for machining now. Do the first OD cut for you right quick. We're going to turn this down here to the same dimension roughly this is. This is going to be a caliper dimension. I don't know where I'm going to power my calipers. So this is going to be a caliper dimension. So it's going to be about an inch 400 thousandths. So we've roughly, so we got to get it down to. So we, we, we probably got uh, 370 thousandths to go. So we'll go ahead and just take some passes here. I'll, I'll take another right here on the camera. And I'll bring you back when I get to the end. Okay, I saw this thing off. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually go in here and touch me a, a spot. And I'm going to, I saw it a little longer than I really wanted to. I'm going to get to the window. So I can work with it. I ain't going to take a very big cut, so I'm going to hold it on very much. And I'm just going to face this off and down to where I've marked it. And that'll be the left. Uh, He said he, he would be fine with it being knurled in the top. He was just wanting something that could be, you know, good. And uh, it suffice for the job. So, that's what we're going to do. Take two or three little passes here and get it cleaned up. When I get this done, I'll clean it, call my neighbor up and say, hey, you're home? I may even, I'm thinking about doing something else here different. While I'm at it, just to make it look different. Just put a little, I got an idea. Something different here. This, this, this is going to be a bit of a decorative thing. It's actually going on a whole farm. The decoration is. What do you think about that, people? Leave a little bit of a. A little couple, little, little right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll be more committed to a little trick for a piece of scotch fry here. I will polish this a little bit. A clean piece of scotch fry here in the pot. Look for it. A little bit of a satin finish. Boys, I'm liking this. That's looking good there. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up. And that's gonna be the job right there. Now. Guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this simple little video. Um, I just happened to catch a couple quick projects to be easy to video. Thought I'd throw them out on the channel because we hadn't put out a lot of stuff. Uh, I've got another one sitting over here that I got to get on sometime 
that I'm going to need because I need to do some cutoff tool work. So to do that, I got to do some redoing. And we'll get into that. But today, I hope you enjoyed the little simple nut making video. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate your support channel. Anybody, any likes, comments can be made. Yeah, you know where I'll be at. Now, always remember these videos on YouTube uh, are, are con is a uh, basically a copyrighted production of James Dedman's All Logs Plastic Hubs. Thanks for coming by. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and ding the bell. Tell your friends. I really appreciate it. Hey, you guys have a great day. See you in the next video.